Yes, we are back with this Ducati 916 Biposto. In today's video, we're going to be finding out what it's like to ride this beautiful motorcycle, which it is, around these lovely roads in Buckinghamshire. Maybe this video could be handy if you're looking at buying one of these, so I thought it'd be great to do a full comprehensive review on the bike on the road. But first things first, as always, it's got these lovely Termagoni pipes on there. Let's see what it sounds like. Turn it on. Fuel pump's going. <laughs> Listen to that dry clutch just tinging away. One thing I love about this bike, that when you pull the clutch in, it sort of alters the change of the clutch sound. I love that. But let's see what these exhausts sound like. <laughs> I love it. Just hesitated to start. It's tough to turn the motor over. You know, this big twin engine, the starter motor just tries to push it around. Such an experience every time. All right, off we go. Right, let's get straight into the quick stuff because I know that's what most of you want to see. <laughs> Listen to that airbox. Airbox sounds so good when you open it up, second gear. Oh. Oh. Down into second. Hang on, open the bike up. Up the hill, back into second. Change of direction on the bike's good. It's not great, I mean it doesn't just flip over like the modern bikes do. But, you know, what can you expect? Very old bike here. 100 horsepower. <laughs> Into full fare. Like, this doesn't have loads of power. That's what I love. You can really open the bike up and enjoy everything it's got to give. Look at that flat out there. Up to 11,000 RPM. Woo! <laughs> Down into third. Hang off. Pull that out there. <laughs> yes. So just even mooching along here, you know, just flipping it from side to side. It's very planted, stable bike, you know, it's not fucking me around at all. And you just got that glorious roar from the airbox. Those big two twin cylinders is firing away. Another thing about this bike that's just awesome is the chassis. It's so stiff. When you flip into a corner and accelerate, it just drives all the power to the rear wheel. There's no twist or anything. It's not getting out of shape. It's just planted on the road and it just turns in. It's very, very stable. You know, on the front brake here, look, all the way in front brake, now off. It's just got that, that sort of precision. When you put the brake on, it pulls the bike into the corner. And that's lovely though, I'll do it around here look. Front brake all the way, nice and hard, all the way down. Look at that, now off. It's just got that grip and it gives you that confidence, just inspire you to just push that front end that little bit more. Um, and, that, and that does make this bike very special in that sense because and that's where it's got that racing pedigree in it that delivers onto the road. Even with the, this shover suspension, you know, it's not the Olin's like the SPS or anything, but wow, I mean, it's just got some absolute, like, confidence inspiring feedback. Everything from the shaft and the suspension is just working exactly as it should. And it, and it makes the bike a uh, fantastic bike to um, shoot about on. Listen to that, listen to the clutch just tinging away. <laughs> you're always on something special when you're riding this bike. So as much fun as all of that is, this is a road test, so what is the bike like to ride around town? Well, let's find out. I think it's really good. It, obviously, the suspension is stiff. The steering is a bit lazy. It is a bit of a lazy bike compared to some of the newer stuff. But what do you expect? It's a 1995 Ducati. Like, it wasn't designed to be some little road cruiser to mooch along, but it does it does it pretty well, so it's not bad. You know, you've got this lovely 
Brembo hydraulic clutch, so if you stop starting in traffic, that's going to be a breeze because it's super lightweight. It's not heavy at all, you just one finger use it there. Um, however, one thing that is just so special, and it's a constant reminder that you're on such an amazing bike, is just the noise. When you're just cruising along around town, this is something you don't get from normal Japanese bikes and stuff like that. This is just delivering such like emphasis on everything you do. You, know, you can hear the clutch sort of ticking away as we're going along here. We pull up here, pull the clutch in and, you know, listen to it. It's just pop, 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 pop. It's just making cracking noises as you're pulling away out of junctions, which, which I love so much about this bike and I don't think it can ever be replaced. Even if another manufacturer did the dry clutch thing, it's just not quite the same as that V-twin thump with it sort of tinging away there in the background. You know, listen to that. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, so yeah, obviously, bike's really stable. It's a, it's a good bike, just to mooch about town on. Got nothing wrong with it. Can't really fault it. The only thing is, obviously, it is a sports bike, so you're gonna get uncomfy on your arms around town. There's no wind lifting you up. Um, and this bike, you are very sort of hunched over on it. It's very short here. Um, so, and the bars are so low, so low, even compared to the V4S Ducati, they're so low, it's like, it's, it really does feel like a race bike, and that's, that's what this essentially is, to be honest with you. Um, it's just, it just hasn't got the power of the modern bike, so it makes it that little bit more rideable. Um, I actually think I prefer driving this around town than the V4S, even though it's a bit more uncomfy. Just the throttle and, and the clutch, it's, it's just easier to ride. That, that electric throttle on the V4S is a bit funny. Um, I prefer this, you know, just sort of analog edition. You're just, you're just fixed to the bike. You're hearing, feeling everything it's doing. The brakes, again, doesn't have ABS or anything, but these, these brakes are good, so can't fault that. The only worry is obviously parking up around town like any expensive bike, you worry someone's going to steal it. So probably not something you'd like to go up to London with, but why would you ever take this bike up to London? You know, this, this is not designed to do anything like that. It's literally designed for the open road, which we may as well get back to um, because I guess that's as much sort of road riding we can do for now. Should have given way to that car. That was, uh, a bit naughty of me but never mind so let's get back onto the open roads like I said you just you just don't have to be absolutely having it to really enjoy what this bike's got to offer oh look at that lovely VFR 400 in front had one of those when I was 17 that was my first bike on the road I ever had awesome bike that absolutely awesome bike um, let's follow him for a bit while we chat away about the Ducati so yeah, um, obviously as you just saw there, when you open it up it's fun, but you can just sort of poodle about and really lean in the bike, you know, get all your weight on the inside peg, hang off, and just enjoy the, the, the mid-range this bike's got. Like I said, it's only about 100, 110 horsepower. It's not crazy fast, but that is just so perfect for the UK roads. You know, these twisties, you can just really enjoy the bike get the power down, not worry about it spitting you off or getting some crazy head shakes out of the corner. It's got a steering damper anyway, so that shouldn't happen, but on some of these quicker bikes, you know, in third gear, you're opening them up and the bike's flipping, trying to wheelie and you're still trying to turn, so you're counter steering, it unsettles the bike, you get that spit back. Okay, so let's press on a little bit now. This great corner here. <laughs> Fourth gear. Yes. Up to 11,000. Careful of the junctions here and open it back up. Hang off the bike down the hill. Look at that, we just stayed in the same gear. Oh, the engine noise is just unbelievable. No, we're not going too fast, we're having fun, we're opening the bike up. This bike's just so good for this. Mid power torque, little blip there, tip the bike in. Mid corner, open it up, flat out, yes. No worries in the world, just really enjoying everything. Okay guys, that is it for today. I really do hope that this video has uh, portrayed 
how exhilarating and exciting this bike can be on the road. It is a fantastic bike. All rounder, you know, go out there on a Saturday or Sunday blast, even after work, just get out on it and enjoy it. It's a fantastic bike for that. Daily commute, maybe not so much. I'm sure loads of people have done it. But back in 1995, this would have been such a machine. Wow. Um, so yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and as always, if you could subscribe, that would be uh, much appreciated and it helps me out an awful lot um, so I can do more of these videos for everyone because I really, really, really do enjoy doing them. So thank you very much for watching. Any questions about the bike, anything you think, any feedback, comments, chuck them in the comments box below. That would also be fantastic. I'd love to have a chat with you guys, what you think about the bike or anybody who's had one, what experiences you had on it. Um, let me know. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.